Hey guys, sky's the limit with Ligari resin. Check out these cool cornhole boards we just coated with our unique and proprietary products. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Tyler with Ligari. We're getting ready to coat some cool cornhole boards. A buddy of ours is bringing them in, having a good prep. We're just gonna coat the top and then he's gonna paint the sides. Like we had Eddie and prep the screw holes. So we're just gonna flood the top, make the top look really cool. Okay, it's the next day. You can see everything flooded really well. We have one spot in the wood right here that seeped through, but that's about it. The whole thing's leveled out. We have a pretty thick build of epoxy, but because we dammed up the edges, this edge, once we pull the tape, I mean, it is razor sharp. You can slice your fingers right open. So cornhole, that's not good. You're gonna reach in the hole, grab a bag, and cut your hand. So we're gonna take some 220 on a palm sander, and we're just going to just soften those edges a little bit, maybe round them just a little bit. Um, even doing them by hand is kind of risky just because they are so sharp. But before we put the urethane on the top, um, which is the next step, we really need to get our profile done. All right, so one thing, one thing you'll notice is I'm trying to really flatten the top. So I'm trying to sand it where I start to see it sanding onto the flat part of the, the, the surface. The reason why is because you don't want any lips, especially like in a game like cornhole, where part of the strategy is to knock your opponent's bag off. You want it to be able to actually slide off. You don't want it to catch on an edge. So you really do need to flatten that off. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually making it completely flat and then just hitting the side and barely rounding it just to give it a little bit uh, of the correct profile. So if it sands through in some places, there might be a couple thin spots like this where it, obviously that's the thicker part of the board that will actually touch that up um, with some black before we even do the urethane. So you won't even really notice kind of this wood look on the edge of the board here that I sanded through. So not too worried about that, but we'll just keep going. And then the, uh, the urethane will bring all of this sanding uh, right back. Okay, so I'm applying the urethane top coat, and it seems thick, but it's not. It's a phenomenal top coat. And I'm just saturating the whole roller, going across the middle of the board first. And I'm really just trying to like 
I'm pushing down and I'm really just kind of smearing it over the whole area and trying to spread it all the way across the board because it's just not a very big board, not a very big area. And then I'll probably lighten up on the roller and let the roller roll a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll do one final back roll three quarters of the way. And the beauty of this urethane is it's amazing. I mean, it is so user friendly. You're not gonna have any roller lines. Now I sanded pretty hard on these edges with 220 grit. So I think because of how hard I sanded, I may need to do two coats of the urethane. So we'll have to see. So right now I'm pushing really hard. The roller's not even rolling. I'm just making sure I got a nice, again, a nice liberal coat on everything. It's real. And it's pretty thick now. Then I'll kind of roll it sideways. I'll let, I'll let up on the roller so it can start kind of evening that out now. Hey guys, as you can see, our products are designed to withstand any environment and be applied to any hard surfaces, no matter what it is, whether it's wood, formica, concrete, tile, granite, and so on. We manufacture elite proprietary products that can't be found anywhere else in the world. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out our store where you can buy single items for any project.